I hope this former Mississippi governor gets dragged through the courts and exposed for all of his corruptions. He is suing reporters for defamation, claiming that the report they made on fraud going on when he was governor is uh, defamation when they have all the evidence and several people have been indicted and charged for their crimes. This is a big reason why so many people continually stay poor because you have governors like this misappropriating money that should be going to them to line their own pockets or create things for themselves or giving it to rich people. This is the kind of corruption that Mississippians know all too well. Anna Wolf's reporting at Mississippi Today exposed a huge scandal in the poorest state in America. $77 million in welfare funds intended for children in need went instead to multiple pet projects, including this horse ranch, this volleyball arena, and to sports celebrities like Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre. Favre was never... Imagine your governor telling you that they're all about caring about kids, they want to protect kids from the left, blah, blah. And then you find out that they took money that was supposed to help needy kids and gave it to themselves and rich people that would that would make you think how how does that help the kids if you're giving it to rich people it doesn't help them you're stealing from them never charged but the reporting led to eight criminal indictments and journalism's biggest prize Adam Ganesho is the editor of the paper. You can't just win a Pulitzer unless there's real impact. Two days after the Pulitzer announcement, we got the first um, threat of legal action. Former Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant, who was in office when the fraud occurred, is suing the newspaper, Wolf, and other staffers for defamation, saying Mississippi Today wrongly accused him of a crime. Allegations in court documents suggest Bryant was among those who directed the spending, but he maintains he did nothing illegal. I did nothing wrong. I wasn't aware of the wrongdoings of others. How would you explain this? Just because you say you did nothing illegal doesn't mean you didn't do something illegal. Because if that case, then anybody could do anything and just say they didn't do anything illegal. And then boom, they're off the hook. Somebody who's never heard about this, Phil Bryant's overall role in the welfare scandal. So it's pretty well laid out. It doesn't say that he did anything illegal. This is an agency under the governor's office. I mean, he has control. He has oversight. Bryant did not initially sue over the newspaper's prize-winning reporting. Instead, he brought the case over how the reporting was later described, including when the newspaper's CEO said Bryant embezzled funds, which is not true. He was never charged, and there's no indication he's under criminal investigation. Bryant's attorney, Billy Quinn, says that was the last straw. So here we are to give, one of their favorite words, accountability to the situation. Well, the rabbit's got the gun now. We'll see who's going to be accountable. The CEO apologized, but Bryant was not satisfied and got a court order saying Mississippi Today must give a judge internal files and communications with confidential sources to determine if Wolf acted out of malice or a reckless disregard for the truth. Some people are going to look at that and say that's just seeking revenge. Well, he didn't sue them because they exposed $77 million worth of misspending. He applauds them for doing that. Good on them. That's not what this suit is about. No, it is about getting revenge, finding out who these sources are, and then making their lives worse, that they're less likely to want to speak out again against any type of corruption. The dude speaking is just lying, and it's obvious. The suit is about defamation. Mississippi Today is now asking the state Supreme Court to overturn the judge's order. If that doesn't happen, they say they'll look to the federal courts. If it goes to trial or whatever. Okay. What's at stake for a free press? Protecting confidential sources. Are you willing to go to jail? Yeah. It's real. It's scary. But um, 
something I think we, we feel very strongly about. Well, as you know, there's a long history of reporters going to jail to protect their sources. Perhaps they will here. How is it legal to send reporters to jail just because they don't want to give up the names of their sources? It seems highly illegal and pretty fascist. All I want is the money. Meanwhile, advocates like Alita Fitzgerald, who have worked on behalf of Mississippi's children for decades, remain outraged by the scandal and grateful for the journalism. Unleashing that story meant a lot to a lot of people and had them thinking differently about what uh, government officials were saying about the well-being and what was going on in the state of Mississippi for poor families. Kendallanian, NBC News, Jack. If you ever wonder how states get so much money to pay for random projects or to pay off rich people, it's because they're taking funds that should be for people in need and misappropriating it. They're stealing your money that should be used to help you out or stealing money that should be used to help other people out because these welfare programs, that money does belong to you. It's there to help you out. If it's misappropriated, it's these politicians stealing it from you and you